Hello everybody, my name is Sam and welcome to Rust Fast Track episode 4. This is going to be the quick introduction to lifetimes in Rust. So whenever you create a variable, let's say, what are we on now? Y. And you give it a type. And you set it to something, you initialize it. Uh, let's be more interesting. There we go. Let's get the opening of the Fibonacci sequence going. This has a lifetime. The lifetime of this is until it goes out of scope, and it's going to go out of scope here, essentially. This is where y goes out of scope. Okay? So, this means you can do these amazing things called dangling pointers. So let's just demonstrate this. Let's create some mutable value z uh, that is a pointer to a vector of i z q's. I'm being very uh, explicit here with my code so you can see exactly what type everything is and how things are working. And we set this as a reference to y. Now, let's go into a new scope. Now, you saw above, this scope creates a new lifetime, essentially. Um, and so now in here, uh, we're on AA now of type vec f32 equals vec. What should we do here? Let's do the primes, I guess. One, two, three, five, seven. This one prime? One isn't counted as prime normally, is it? Two, three, five, seven, nine. Okay. Uh, and then we say uh, not shadowing z equals and aa. So can you see what's going to happen here? aa has a lifetime of until here. So this point here is where AA dies. This reference here, Z, is only going to die down here. So we're going to have this reference that points to some data that no longer exists. And that's bad. And so let's see what the compiler uh, actually does here um, to prevent this dangling pointer error. And so if we go and we uh, see what it did because I wrote the code a second ago. AA does not live long enough. The reference must be valid for the block suffix following the statement 34 at line 5330 here. But borrowed value is only valid for the block suffix following the statement 0 at this here. Basically what it's saying is this here is only going to live until the end of this. But this is going to live here your, your z is being defined, set, and then it's going to fall out of scope after it. So this is actually automatically port or, uh, picked up on the fact that we're going to have a dangling pointer, and that's bad. And uh, so how could we fix this? Well, really we can't. Not, not like this. What we've written here is a, is a classical dangling pointer example, and... Uh, Really, there is no way to fix it. Uh, if you wanted to make sure that Z maintained its status, then this would be an occasion for shadowing. Because the second you shadow this, and you'd be able to do the exact same stuff with it, if we go back to our compiler, I believe, we no longer get an error. And the reason for this is now, because we're shadowing it, Z is this instance of Z is going to go out of scope, and we're going to seed control back to this instance of Z. So this is one of the times where shadowing might be appropriate if you're going to end up with a dangling pointer and you need you absolutely need to do some form of a construct like this. Um, and so yeah, that's uh, we've explained. This that's the simple end of lifetimes. Uh, so essentially, how lo how everything lives until it goes out of scope, and uh, what happens if you try and deliberately break something with lifetimes. Now, Rust also has things that are called declared lifetimes. And so these are done with ticks. Uh, so we could say, for example, this has our lifetime of my lifetime. But those are generally used when dealing with functions. And we're going to look at these lifetimes and lifetime elision uh, in the next episode. Um, so this has just been a really quick, what are lifetimes, introduction to lifetimes, how lifetimes work. Um, in fact, we're not going to look at them in the next episode, because the next episode we're going to look at ownership and borrowing. Uh, but the episode after that, we're going to return to lifetimes uh, with the new information you know from ownership and borrowing, and you're going to learn about them there. So, I'll see you then.